Cheers. Cheers. Happy honeymoon. Happy honeymoon. <laughs> Do you want to go unpack a little bit and kind of? Yeah. So you're going to grab mine and I'm going to grab yours. Seems fair. It sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> you, you pack all the and I'll carry it. You didn't help me at all to the airport. Cameron is always 100 million steps ahead of me. I don't know where that is, but I am waiting for, for everyone else. And he's just gone. I, I'm sorry, are you not able? No, I'm very capable. I'm just saying oh, that okay. it's a kind gesture to help, and you definitely were not helping me. I was, you weren't helping me with my bag. I'm just saying. I could carry this with my pinky. And I think that common knowledge is that you help women with their bags. I've been told it's rude to assume that women can't do things. So. It would have been nice to have the assistance with that, with that large bag, you know what I mean? Cameron? I'm right here with your suitcase. I think Cameron is getting a sense that I am pretty independent. But yeah, there's part of me that's like, I wish he would just be like, hey, do you need assistance? Or do you need, you know, and those kind of things, I think draw me closer to someone is when they're really asking like, hey, where are you at? What do you need? Are you angry with me? I think you kind of are. I'm not angry. You're not angry? About what? About me telling you that I wish I would have had help a little bit. I, I appreciate it. And you were also kind of running away from me as well. You gotta wait for me. Little legs don't work like that. <laughs> he doesn't want to be anywhere around me. <laughs> and, and you know what? This is all goes back to communication. Like I had to remind you, like, hey, I'm short. I'm gonna be behind you. But hey, I would like to wait. And I did see you make that change. You did start to wait for me, which I appreciate. You're welcome. Is there anything that's bothering you that you feel like you wish that I was doing better? No, I think you're amazing. <laughs> That sounds sarcastic. <laughs> no, really, truly, is there something that's annoying you that you feel like, because I feel like we we are kind of like comfortable with each other, but not to the point where it's like, I, like we don't see each other romantically at this moment, right? Right? Sure. And so I feel like growing that a little bit um, and working on that and trying to kind of figure that part out of us. Cause like I said, we have not touched that aspect. Um, yeah, like this but is I mean, do you, do, you, do you have a plan of how we can get past that? Being here, experiencing things together, doing things together could definitely help that. And I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure we get to that moment so that we don't leave and like, oh, we're moving into each other and we've literally never even held hands before. Yeah, I agree. But you did, you did tell me you didn't like to do that. No, I will, no, I will, the hand holding is totally fine. Okay. But there's a difference between that and like, it's hard to explain. I have been asking if Claire would be open to more physical touch and I've been getting a pretty strong uh, no. So to hear her say that she wants uh, physical intimacy uh, now, all I can say is I'm just confused. Just because I'm strong does not mean that I don't want those things, you know? But I'm certainly not going to advance on someone who doesn't seem to know what they want. I've been with guys in the past who don't express that they care, and to me, that's very, very hurtful. Inside, I do want the physical affection. I do want, you know what I mean? Like, it would be nice to feel cared for. Okay.